So the current state of environment, I'm freezing on every video. I have to say it on every video because I bought, I got two hard drives. Yes, I got a four TB, not a TB shot. It, it, I'm deviced out over here, let me tell you. I got two externals plugged into this and yet one external is completely on his deathbed. And that's the one that I'm using and yet the other one, the four TB is a brand new one and yet I'm not having everything go to that new hard drive I, i'm in fact having everything going to the dying hard drive and yet i have since i've been making my earliest videos i've been using that hard drive so let me know it's dying basically with the freezing and all the rest is yeah so i'm gonna have to switch over to the new one uh so like subscribe id in the discovery channel yes id in the discovery channel the links are provided below get that discovery go app as well as that id go app you might want to combine those two things make them into one that's there we go freezing right there anytime you have a hard drive as old as mine it's 2010 is when i had this when i uh, yeah years back 2010 i had this hard drive it done hit the basement floor and everything and i'm still using it and it's just now clonking out in the year 2019 you can still hear me i'm just freezing just take it as a screenshot as i'm freezing and yet uh hopefully once i get off this camera i don't forget to transfer everything over because everything has to be set up and all that but yeah it helps to have backups for everything i i buy two of everything i learned that from my dad always have two of everything just in case but yes the current state of environment what would you do about the current state of the environment i can go for years on end and possibly end as in my mouth will possibly end the world out and discussing topics like this because there's so many avenues and directions you can go flipping a rubik's cube to see well what needs to be fixed and what could be changed even as going as far as a white house donald trump or whoever is in office to question that type of thing right the, yeah the questions analyzation with that my focus for today is more so self-driving cars to pick one thing and not be completely wide open because see that's a the current state of it environment that's wide environment goes globally remember world trade and everything operation world trade operation plays into that as a whole outside of american society right so you in fact want to broaden it yet not completely you want to go down downsize with that right so what could be done by everyday humans to prevent further damage of the environment that that question is too broad right we know the answer somewhat there's overpopulation issues there's uh proper ways of disposal of trash and waste right that's how you will fix stuff right more people going green that will help about uh, with that you got biodegradable type of stuff biodegradable things right ecosystems and gas this is why i downsized and went down instead of being wide out like a triangle the tip is here and then you go out to be too broad is to come all the way back in right so ecosystem and gas that points in with automobiles and more efficient vehicles and seeming we're in 2019 and we have the self-driving cars what I'm in question in question is uh, vehicles designed to recycle rainwater. I'm thinking that those vehicles, the self-driving vehicles such as Tesla and Apple are creating, they should be designed to do more things to help humanity as a whole and not just be a self-driving car. There's nothing to that. There's nothing to be gained and learned from that, even from my own experience. But the but what I'm saying. <laughs> We're in fact not learning anything, but I got to bring that out. If a self-driving car is going to be a self-driving car, it should do much more than just driving by itself. There should be something designed within that computer or operational system where it's able to recycle rainwater. As in being able to be uh, drinkable to humans driving that car. And not only that, there should be a windshield, just like a regular windshield as it is. That should be computerized where you're able to read GPS and all that right there on the screen. Because remember, you're not you're not focused on the road. So 
you're sitting there you should be able to do more things with your hands and everything else or even with speech recognition where you say something in the microphone in the car to the speakers and all the speaker output input mic output hit or yeah not headphones but speakers right that windshield should be uh computerized as well in that car if it's a self-driving car the, the self-driving car should be more efficient than what it is because that the, anytime you go self-driving like that is to say no hands involved you're almost like a mobile home on wheels and yet it could be a two-door it could be a sedan it could be a, a two-seater uh mazda or something like that right it could be anything and yet the efficiency has to be right with that under the undercover you just don't that doesn't make sense you don't want to sit in a self-driving car and do nothing that that, uh, that doesn't offer humanity anything you should be doing something while you're in that self-driving car whether it's working on that windshield or through the windshield it being computerized some handheld device being able to be plugged into the windshield with that because semen tvs are going to be glass and not something you carry around uh well semen people ain't watching tvs you, you get what i'm saying ipads are being carried around in the carrying case iphones are all that is going to replace the standard tv over time as years go on right things will start to replace and so tvs the standard tvs will be as thin as glass that thick about as thin as glass and you would even be able to carry it just like you carry the ipad which is why the ipad and iphones and all the rest is being invented and was invented to help replace the standard tv take it take it on the go with you right so it's the same with the self-driving car that windshield needs to be computerized people should be doing things and not just sitting looking out the window right they should be doing things to help humanity and not getting on facebook or social media fucking with random people yes with that helps to give back to humanity as a whole and not complain about the system being corrupt and all that if you're not playing your part so what self-driving cars improve society or set us back do you think self-driving cars help to further society as a whole or do you think it set us back and also when you consider maintenance of such vehicles you got exhaust weight with that or waste with that or those vehicles going green with that right trying to improve but the maintenance does that help propel society forward maintaining a vehicle like that or does it set us back do you think it do you think it costs more to maintain a self-driving car or do you think it costs less Will self-driving cars be more affordable in the future as more people purchase them? I'm thinking and believing and guessing so with that. The more people jump on stuff, the the less the price go down because of demand. But then again, it depends. The more I'm going to, the, that's how prices jump up as well. You got where it all depends. Economy, economics, all that, right? to put something out there is to say more people is is it's in demand so that's to say th at first the price might be low but now the price is skyrocketed right D that's the ask well how affordable will self-driving cars be later on down a years from now in the future and how would that affect the everyday funds of men and women such as you and i the viewer what type of impact will these self-driving cars have on humanity because self-driving cars are known to get glitches like everything else my screen hell that's what's going on right and yet it's my hard drive doing it right where say cars will possibly the self-driving cars clunk out that can pose a car crash that can pose accidents somebody something might be not set right in the unit with a self-driving car uh, an average person might not do something right workable in a self-driving car that that can pose crashes more crashes 
being done out here is happening right now some of those car crashes that are happening might not always be the defective car system it could just be everyday people not using them in the right way the car could be fully operational and yet sometimes you got idiots out here that do things not right that's a not that's not to say that everybody that's crashing is an idiot that's not to say but you do have people that use things the wrong way and then once you use something the wrong way that's how a death or a tragedy can happen such as a car skidding off the road killing somebody or killing a whole family all type of things happen with that right that's why you would want to ask these sort of questions before stuff start to get off the off the trading room floor or not why did i say trading room i'm thinking new york stock exchange all over again in world trade i'm sorry uh, before yeah buyer seller and all the rest with the flooring with that type of stuff i keep going back to world trade i don't know why that is my mind keeps getting stuck on that uh disco discovery <laughs> communications and but yeah you, you will want to question these sort of questions before more cars are invented or whatever else gets to moving and grooving because the effects come after cause and effect is there's an idea we're going to push it forward we're going to put it out on humanity to see how it goes if this doesn't go real well we're going to pull back some and then later on try it again right cause and effect right tesla more than likely is doing that as well all companies do trial and error just to see how things go some things don't bring the greatest vanity great enough advantage as you thought it would sometimes it brings disaster and hopelessness to society <laughs> depending on what the situation is some of us have tried stuff out ourselves and it didn't either go in that way or went the opposite or you get next to it or you do this or that and you it's not what you thought or hoped it would be it's something else that that's what business is as well sometimes people feel like well you know the business should have knew or this or they should have mentally forecast it forecast it is when you plan something for an outcome to be this or that sometimes once it hits the public you don't know how the reaction is going to be it can be completely different than what you thought it was going to be which is why some people in fact get out of business as quick as they get in it or they get out of that field of business and get into something else because they can't handle whatever with that so there's a learning process of even buyer seller trading and all that right so i i would love to know what's the impact of these self-driving cars in the future because the, the future is going to continue to take off it's not going to stop the stop is how you die off right and yet uh what good uses could come from a self-driving car what bad uses could come from a self-driving car i want you to viewer to think this out logically critically use your brain thinking analytical skills analytics write that write that down use that to think my theme is to pique your awareness to make it challenge your, your mind thinking capacity with that logic and reasoning think this out and I think that is all to be said for now. We are pausing out. <laughs> clonking out with that on a brand new Mac and pausing and clonking. How failure is that? It just happened in, in life. So I'm ending for now. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me think, let me know what you feel and think about that. In videos like this, I'm gone.